95.5 WFMS. Good morning. It's Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Here we go. It's Friday. Friday, Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Yes, it's true. Oh, it's yeah. true. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's not Thursday. It's Friday for me and you. All of us. That's just a sample so of an actual Jesse. Friday song that'll take place. Oh, right, well, right. it's a little more right upbeat. More. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. The but it is Friday. It yes. is Friday, and, and we are ready for it. We are absolutely. I don't usually see you wear your coat, Kev, in the studio. Yeah, you're cold. Yeah. I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, but it's 36 now and clear at oh, 95.5. Balmy. WFMS. 95.5 WFMS. Good morning. It's Jim, Deb, and Kevin. It is the third day of November. Yeah. Halloween is over. Yeah. Thanksgiving is on the way. And here's something that will startle you. What's that? We are 21 days away from Black Friday. No. Whoa. 21 days before we, from today, we'll be saying, oh, oh, we got to go shopping. <laughs> we now, Cyber shopping. Monday is the next Monday, so right. it comes after that. But the first big major shopping day is 21 days away. Well, so, you know, it's probably good because Hayden sent me his Christmas list last yeah, night. Oh, He's usually last minute, and I said, hey, if you started a little bit earlier, I didn't mean like now, <laughs> right. but I, but bless his heart, he got on it. Now, sent me you, links and everything. Will you do your sip and shop uh, with your sisters like oh, you yeah, normally do? yeah, that's a tradition. Okay. Oh, yeah, we take our Those laptops, are... we go to a restaurant, we order Bloody Marys, and... Mm. We don't have to fight the traffic uh, in the mall. Yeah, you're missing the sport of it, though. Yeah. Oh, no. Or you're, you're fighting over a, a oh, push yeah. cart, a grocery cart. or <laughs> No, now we just something. fight over who's going to buy the next round of drinks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. Okay. Good point. And what's interesting <laughs> is the Christmas presents get uh, more expensive as the night goes on. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I'll buy that for him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm say, always say like my Jim. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. going to buy this for Jim. <laughs> 95.5 WFMS. Jim, Deb, and Kevin. It's uh, 622 on a Friday morning. All right. I, I'm, I'm going to... Walk very delicately here. Oh, boy. I'm going to say something, and Deb's going to be offended by this. Uh-oh. Uh, and I don't mean to offend you, Okay, Deb. are you in slapping distance? Get over uh, here. But <laughs> I, you, of the three of us, you're the one that probably most likely will shop for groceries online. You use Instacart or any of those other, other organizations. Sure. I've always thought, and this is where i got to be, very, that you were... Being somewhat if, lazy. If you say lazy, oh my gosh, oh. I might for doing smack that. you. I'm going to watch this. For, oh, for yeah, doing that. Yeah. But, but get the popcorn. I, no, no, let me, let me, get the popcorn. No, let me tell you, and don't be so violent, uh, <laughs> that I'm finding out that that is wrong. And actually, they, they say, there's an article in the Wall Street Journal, they mm -hmm. say that you will actually save money yes. when you shop for your groceries online. Even when you have to pay the... The service fee that's attached to it, or even a tip sure. that's attached to it. They said you don't have those impulse buys. That's right. Where you walk by, oh, ice cream, and mm -hmm. you grab ice cream. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at this. And if you're admired, <laughs> suddenly you're over there buying T-shirts that weren't even on your grocery <laughs> I present. agree with that because so, you're, you're only getting what you need. It is not a lazy thing. It's actually a fiscally-minded thing. It's responsible. It's, it is. So I want to say that I have matured in my thought process that's not being lazy we got a that's ways actually, to go that's it <laughs> baby steps girl baby steps right. <clears throat> it's it, that that's actually a way to save money and i'm all about saving money yes right. so, and i'm pretty frugal too i i i even took it one step further yes. i had a, in my pocket a receipt that i had gone grocery shopping mm -hmm. there were items on the list that andrea had given me then i looked at the receipt of the things i bought in addition to a couple of things yeah. yeah more than a couple oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah and so it's kind of like oh I see what they mean. Yeah. I bought a jar of peanuts. I didn't need a jar of peanuts. I mean, that wasn't <laughs> sure. on the lo grocery Not list. Not on the list. And sometimes, you know, I, I can be at one place. I used to be, sit at the ballpark for the boys, mm -hmm. and I'd be, you know, double header or whatever, and you're sweating profusely, and you're thinking, oh, my gosh, we have nothing for dinner tonight. I would order what I needed because, I, you know, we're low on groceries, whatever. Order what I needed. It'd be on my porch when I got home. You know, so I would imagine the way I look at it is, you're right. It might be like a two fifty dollar service charge and like a three or four dollar tip, but that's the that's my time. Yeah, and then my gas in yeah. driving and to the store. You're only getting the items that are on that list. That list right? That's so. correct. Because in the stores, so. they display them to catch your eye. Yeah. You know, so, and it usually works. Oh, wow. And you didn't have to talk to a bunch of people. <laughs> I actually enjoy that part. Well, yeah. I mean, sometimes you're in I a have, hurry. I have a, a full conversation with the greeter at Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in Meyer and I just stand there and talk to well, him for a while. Well, you might need a hobby. <laughs> so anyway, so well, well, Deborah, you among the three of us have been right all along. Not necessarily for the reason I thought. But you are right. Thank you. I, you know what? Can I get that on tape? Somewhere? It's on tape shame. somewhere. Can that be my ringtone? It's on tape somewhere. <laughs> Friday morning, Jim, Deb, and Kevin, as if Fridays couldn't get any better, we'd like to put just a little bit of the icing on the cake by giving <laughs> you Kevin's bad joke worth repeating. And I need to stress, this is a joke, all right? It's okay. a joke. Got it. 
I'm Uh-oh. just joking here. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. By the way, it's sponsored by Hearing Solutions of Indiana. You've never heard like this before. I need to rehome a dog. It's a small terrier. Tends to bark a lot. If you're interested, let me know, and I'll jump over the fence and get it from the neighbor's yard. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a joke. Got it. Uh, Got to rehome that dog. Wasn't his dog. <laughs> yeah, we got it. It's not Kevin's dog. Right, right, Somebody else's so. dog. Yeah, and it's not even my. It's, 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 it's a, joke. a joke. Okay. Joke. It's a joke. Disclaimer. Yeah. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Friday morning with Jim, Dev, and Kevin, ninety-five-five WFMS. We thank you so much for making this a part of your morning. So I made a chili the other night. You know, it's cold out, and oh, yeah. uh, nothing better than a big hot steaming pot of chili. And <laughs> I made a side of cornbread with it. Now, I know a lot of people like uh, peanut butter sandwiches with it, and we've done that, too. I've but, heard that. Um, I've, I've seen people do cornbread and chili, and I thought, that, that sounds really good because it what? just seems like a good combination. You crumble your cornbread over the top of your chili. What do you mean? Look at me weird. I mean, I've never done that, but that's fine. But I'm you've sure heard of it, right? No. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, well, that makes two weirdos. Uh-huh. Because, uh, oh, okay, I'm a weirdo well, for not I knowing mean, that. Well, I mean, Greg okay, thought okay. it was the dumbest combination he's ever heard of. He's like, I'm not, I, don't make that for me. I'm yeah. not eating. I'm like, well, good for you. I, I'm, I'm, we're I'm eating not saying it. I would enjoy it. I've just never heard of that before. He right. says they don't go together. I mean, those were his words. Chili and cornbread don't even go together. And I hmm. said, but they do. There, there are recipes all over the internet. He thought I was nutso. And I said, I'm happy to put this on the WFMS Facebook page and have people weigh in. He goes, please do. <laughs> well, we've had 218 people weigh in. And? 98% of them say it's delicious and it's a staple. And he thinks G- we're all nuts. Jim, have you heard of this before? I have seen it served, but not, I, not put it in the chili. Right. But, uh, well, how else do you eat it? So, we just eat it on its so own. So add, okay. add anyway. Jim to the weirdo that doesn't has never heard of that. So I'm not I, saying I wouldn't like it. I did not either. I'm saying I would probably <laughs> love yeah, there's, it. Yeah, there's something about the but sweetness of the cornbread. With the spice and, and, and the chili. Yeah, and, and I don't make mine too spicy, but yeah, there's something about that combination. Greg says cornbread should only go. He goes, I think, he actually thought I was mistaken. I think you're thinking of ham and beans. I'm like, no. Oh, no, there That's you good. go. I'm That's not ham thinking and of ham and beans. And, and cornbread, absolutely. Yeah. Now, that does go together, and I've made that before. But So we put this on our Facebook page. You can still go see the giant photo of cornbread that I yeah. posted. Good that's, looking cornbread. That's too. why. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was in the wrought iron skillet. <laughs> um, and so T- Tierra says we just did this the other day. We always have cornbread with our chili. We also like the peanut butter and uh, sandwiches. My husband is one of those weirdos who likes cinnamon rolls with their chili. I and, never heard of that. And I have not heard of that either. But there must be a, a thing about the sweetness. With the chili. Uh, Belinda says, I put mine in the bottom of the bowl. Belinda, great idea. She says, I crumble it on the bottom. I pour the chili on top with some shredded cheese on top. I don't know where I've been. I think I would like this. I've just never <laughs> oh, heard yeah. of this before. Holly says, I just made cornbread and chili for dinner on Sunday. Tracy says, yes, cornbread and chili. It's a thing. Uh, Cindy, I definitely eat it that way. And they absolutely go together. Um, let's see. Gail, they are perfect together. I don't I don't know what Greg was thinking. Like he's been in another world or something. <laughs> Kathy says we never ate it that way, but I'm best. I'm betting it's probably pretty good. Mm-hmm. Linda, cornbread, awesome with chili. Debbie says I love cornbread with my chili. I saw the recipe for chili and cornbread casserole at a Pampered Chef party. It's definitely a thing. So really? okay. I mean, the comments just go on and on and on. So, well, again, I, I think I would love it. I've just never heard of it. There's only one put, way to find out. I, that's exactly right, Jim. Oh, Deb needs to make some I need chili. To make some and um, bring it in. I will I like say cornbread. I like uh, corn chips. Free, like Frito corn chips? Yeah, in yeah. my chili. Those are good. I, yeah. I love the fact that we have WFMS to settle uh, marital debates. Yes, that's true. Yes. Because when, when in doubt, I always go to FMS, and to most people side with me. But here's the problem with that, Deb. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Greg is on record of saying that he is not on Facebook. He calls it Dork Book. Yes, he does. Uh, so he's not going to see these comments. I told him. I, I, oh, okay. In fact, I read most of these, too, and he was like, Oh, uh, well, you know what? That's that's just 200 people. Yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> that's, just, <laughs> like, well, yeah, that's yeah. kind of a good ratio, I think, there, you know? I think it's a, I think it's a great idea that I'd love to give now, a try to. In his know. defense, let me give this real... She just this, keeps moving on. I'll give him one. Tama. Yeah. I've heard of it, but I'm with Greg. I think they should stay separate. They don't go together. Okay. So, mm-hmm. there you go. You I got, would you got one. Try it. You got one. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, speaking of uh, trying things, I brought in snacks. And I know Jim will eat some. I'm not sure about Deb, if I can just convince her to try it. Mm-hmm. 95.5 WFMS, Friday morning. Good day for chili. Yeah, hold mm-hmm. on a minute. Chili, and also I brought in venison, Jimmy. You did? My buddy oh, Brad, uh, who's, a, who's a deer hunter, and he got a deer the other day. And um, he gets it. I'm gonna go over here. This, this, this venison here? has, um, it looks like little miniature summer sausage. Summer sausage. Well, that is. That is. Be a little piece there, a it's big got, piece, whatever you like. cheese it's inside good. it, right? Yeah, right, right okay. There. Now. Wow. So he has his process, doesn't he? Has he? It, yeah, Knightstown Meat Locker does it. 
And uh, Jeff, I want you to eat that, and I want you to tell me if that doesn't taste like summer sausage to you. I know you don't you don't like venison, you say, mm. but um, got the cheese. It in tastes it. like summer sausage. There I'll you have go. to give you that. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, people don't like venison because they 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 they've been told it's gamey and it's this and, and that. And it's Bambi. <laughs> and it's Bambi. And it yes, it can be gamey. It's not processed right or cooked right. Um, it's pretty good. But the, it's very good. You're going to love it. It's I'm got cheese you. inside of it. Yeah. Mm, he also good. gets it made with a more of a peppery cheese. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there's a one that has honey in it. I like sticks. that one, mm-hmm. probably. I've got some of that, too. I'll bring it in. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. It's lean. It's, it's very lean. Mm-hmm. Very, I'm very sure lean. everyone's enjoying us eating on the I'm, air. I apologize. I'm trying to get away from the mic here, but I'm really salivating now. now. Mm, good. You're talking about chili. He um, puts venison in his chili. Okay, that's where I'm going to have to say... Thank you. We had that in the chili dump I talked about a few weeks ago. You had venison in the chili. One of the chilies came with venison. Hmm. And it was good. It tastes like this. And it's lean. And <laughs> Jim keeps saying lean. Because <laughs> something that good, you wouldn't think it'd be that lean. Yeah. yeah. And I so, always thought I wouldn't like this because of texture. You know, it's kind of chewy or a little rubbery, maybe. Yeah. But uh, I would say that's that's pretty good. I'm kind of yeah. proud of myself for stepping outside of my comfort zone. I am, zone. too. I'm very proud of you. We'll see what happens like with the avocados, which she didn't want that. Now she loves guacamole. Yeah, because of you guys. Mm-hmm. I didn't eat avocados for probably 42 years. Yeah. And now the last 10 or so, I've like, well, no, I'm that's not That's all she's eating. It's really weird. She's turned out actually green. She's turning green, green so. now. <laughs> Love them. <laughs> By the way, Matt Malone, in the afternoons, he's a big uh, deer hunter, too. And mm-hmm. so I put some of this on his desk as well. Oh, he's going to so. think it's Christmas time. Uh, anyway, I'm proud of you, Deborah, for trying something new. Thank you very much. Good. Can you I can't have, have any more. These are mine, though. <laughs> oh, okay. No, you have help yourself. <laughs> Seven forty with Jim, Deb, and Kevin, and Rascal Flats missing Mayberry. I do miss that show. Although I think Mary Bear, Andy Griffith shows on like six times a day now, yeah, depending right. on what channels you can find <laughs> it on. Right. I've seen literally every episode probably four or five times. Just so you know, Aunt B can make some really good chili, uh, but not not good pickles. No, yes, good no, chili. She not makes good, good pickles. Chili. Yeah, and, and good cornbread. Mm-hmm. Which we've, I don't know why we get on this. We're talking about venison and yeah. uh, chili well, and Kevin cornbread. Kevin brought in uh, venison sausage today. He tried yeah, telling me it was squirrel at first. <laughs> After I ate it, he's like, by the way, that was really squirrel. And I about lost it. Oh, I, I love teasing he's my kids. So <laughs> not stand it. <laughs> Hello. I knew you guys are my favorite radio station, by the way. Why is that? <laughs> I turn it on. You're talking about chili. And then you're talking about your sausage this morning. Yes. My goodness. So cornbread absolutely goes with chili. Thank you. <laughs> but you have to try chicken chili. Oh, Ooh, yeah. That sounds good. Cornbread, put some jalapeno, like oh. the, the canned diced jalapeno, and shredded cheddar cheese in your cornbread. Oh, yeah. That with your chicken chili. And venison chili is amazing. It is amazing. And so is, and so is venison tacos. Ooh, Ooh I venison would love tacos. Those, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So yeah. what's your name? It's Heather again. I called in yesterday about Instacart. Oh, yes. Good. Well, Heather, yeah. when are we going to dinner? Yeah, really. When are we going to have that uh, that chicken chili, venison chili, or chili, uh, spicy chili, chili, chili? Well, you know, we'll just have to set up a date, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I, love, I it. love it. I love it. Thanks for listening, Heather. All right. Have a great day. You too. Oh, it sounds good, isn't it? I'm someone, hungry now. Someone else just mentioned that uh, venison makes a great meatloaf. Got lots oh, of venison great meatloaf. We should do, you know what? We should do a WFMS cookbook. Actually, you know, I was, oh, well, more than that, I was thinking we should do a WFMS pitch in. I, <laughs> oh, I really <laughs> like the way you think. Oh, yes. you, you're, on, you're on par today, girl. You're you on top. Are, you're, you're ready Dean's to go. Dean's list like right that. there. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> 95.5 WFMS. Jim, Deb, and Kevin. Hey, it's Friday. Woo-hoo. Time to gather around the radio and kick off the weekend by singing the Friday song. Y'all ready? Yeah. I'm always ready. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday. Yes, it's true. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday for me and you. Well, yesterday was National Man Makes Dinner Day. Yes. Deb's husband was planning dinner, and Deb said, you're doing what? Shortly after the doorbell rang, a Supreme from Pizza Hut. Oh, hey, you make dinner. That's right. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday, yes, it's true. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday for me and you. Well, what do you do with Halloween candy left over from this year? Kevin says, what leftover candy? Yeah. There's none of that here. <laughs> Not a bunch of quitters. He ate it all. It's, it's Friday, 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 Friday. It's Friday, yes, it's true. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday for me and you. Well, Halloween is over. Soon we'll light the Yule log. Oh, no. 
That's why I've been practicing and sampling my famous eggnog. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just a little bit more of that. It's, it's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday, yes, it's true. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday for me and you. Yep, Friday. That is Jelly Roll and Lainey Wilson Save Me on 95.5 WFMS. Good morning. It is Jim, Deb, and Kevin. I think I mentioned uh, earlier my wife bought those uh, uh, pretzels, individual oh, little Halloween, pretzels yeah. for Halloween. And I convinced her packs. not to give those out because I don't want to be known as the neighbor that gave out pretzels. Uh, <laughs> and then, Jim, you, you said you kind of lived dangerously. You didn't even bother buying any candy. Because you were confident you'd have no trick or treaters. Well, and, I, and then I was worried because I didn't buy any. Because, mm-hmm. but for the last eight years, we I've never had a trick or treat. Not even one. Yeah. Well, that then there, by, I, so. I think that says a little something about you than it does that. Oh, that could. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw this on uh, NBC News last night. Uh, there's a guy in California was handing out sauce uh, sauce packets. Instead of candy, oh come so on! He was at, well. I'm sure that it was like Jim. Oh, that no one's gonna come. Or I forgot to get the candy. He's handing out Heinz ketchup, what? Yellow mustard and McDonald's grape jam because you know we all have a drawer in our home. <laughs> I do in our kitchen that has all that taco sauce. But oh, yeah. some people, I mean, I probably spent over a hundred dollars on well, candy. He, didn't. He, he he went and got it free at a restaurant. Well, no, he didn't, and he panicked, and so now this kid's walking around with a bag full of Heinz ketchup, yellow mustard, and McDonald's. <laughs> Grape jam. I going. do like that McDonald's grape jelly. <laughs> good stuff. That's yeah. good stuff. You never know when you're going to need some ketchup. You never you know. know. Yeah, Kids I'm, need to, to know you, that. You know that was a guy that did that. Totally. You know that was a guy going, oh, I won't have any trick or treaters. That's fine. Or just forgot. What? Today's yeah. Halloween. Yeah. yeah. Over the Can door. Can you imagine their face, though, as it was handed out? Like, what? <laughs> Maybe he so, did it real fast. Oh, here, here we go, kids. Yeah. <laughs> so you it's have a, a little <laughs> extra special something. <laughs> you have a drawer with all those. Oh, yeah. And sometimes it, it gets stuck because. Hot, mild taco sauce. I throw the chopsticks in there from the yes, Chinese place, yes. and then yeah. they get caught on the drawer. And <laughs> yeah, it never works. Yeah, soy sauce, yeah. all that. So I, you, you thought about handing out cans of green beans if him a kid showed. You should have thought about the sauce. Yeah, well, I could have. I have the. I never thought of actually giving that out, but yeah. you know, I think the kids really enjoy the green beans. Yeah. So. Here, try the grape <laughs> jam on top of your Reese's cup. It's really good. <laughs> you look like you'd like hot sauce. Yeah. There you go, young man. Ninety-five-five WFMS with Jim, Dab, and Kevin. Deb's got your daily dirt, and Kim Kardashian's daughter breaks the internet. Yes, <laughs> we'll tell you uh, what she did, but people are like losing it over it. We'll, we'll share in about uh, thirty seconds. First, Brad Paisley and his wife Kimberly are giving away free toys this holiday season. It's a tie-in with their nonprofit grocery called The Store. Oh, okay. that, I yeah. love that, that couple. They do. They have a fun relationship, but they also give back to their yeah, community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really good people. Also, if you haven't heard, John Party had to reschedule three shows last week due to strep throat. Now he has COVID. Oh, no. I mean, it just keeps oh, getting yeah. worse for him. Yeah, he was looking forward to getting back out on the road and, and not miss anymore because it's hard to make those up and get what those is? rescheduled. Mm-hmm. And now COVID's going to put a damper on things, so mm-hmm. he's had to postpone three more shows. So, so far we are out uh, six shows. Dolly Parton says that she's been asked several times to headline the Super Bowl halftime show. It's always a no for her. And there's a reason. She says her concerts are not big productions. And she feels like that's what you need to oh, have if you're going to perform Bowl. at the yeah. big grand stage of Super Bowl I, halftime. I, don't know. I, think, I think people will stick around and watch her just Playing the guitar and singing. You know, mm-hmm. some people like that. You ever so. see her play the guitar with those long fingers? Yeah, and she's good. It's amazing she can do that. Yeah. I, I would love to see. I would be in support of a Dolly Parton Super Bowl halftime show. Me too. Northwest is the daughter of Kim Kardashian and Kanye, and she eats onions the way the rest of us eat apples. Ooh. <laughs> on is purpose? Is that not crazy? I wonder if it makes her tear up. Well, I would think so. Yeah, on uh. purpose. She likes the taste of an onion, and she eats it just like you would an apple. And so the video went out about that on the Internet. People lost it. They were like, what in the world? <laughs> this is also interesting. She prefers living with her dad, Kanye, over her mom, Kim. Dad does not have a nanny. He doesn't have security. He doesn't have a chef. And I think Kim's a little... Um, a little taken aback by the fact she's probably a little hurt over the whole thing. Oh, I, I can imagine. Um, yeah. The daughter says, "Why don't you have an apartment, Mom? You should have an apartment. Dad has an apartment. She likes <laughs> oh, the apartment yeah. and and having a smaller place." And then she says, "And we make our own food." <laughs> Kim said, "That's amazing that you make ramen. That's great." Oh, oh cute. So, yeah, yeah. And, and also, Dad buys apples. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to eat oranges or uh, eat uh, onions. I, I think the, well, that's true. Eight twenty-seven. That's Dev's Daily Dirt. It's sponsored by Mark Deedle Realty.